Okay, you guys, let me tell you something. My goal for this year is to get to 100 subscribers. If you aren't already subscribed and you wanna give me a really cool birthday present that costs you absolutely no money, you can hit the subscribe button and I will be like, whoa, this person loves me. They gave me a birthday gift via a subscription on YouTube. Hey guys, so over here, I am ready to decorate for Christmas and I have some thrifted home decor items that we're just going to be giving a little like mini makeover today. So I'm going to show you what those things are and then I'll take you out into the garage. We will do the spray painting and then we'll come back in. I'll show you the finished product and then I think today, I'm feeling it, I think today we're going to swap out all of the fall decor. Just gonna skip straight to Christmas. Anyone else? I feel like Halloween is really fun to decorate for. We've had fall decor up for a while now. Like, I think since mid-September or the very beginning of October. So I'm ready for Christmas. Um, so we're gonna do that today. We're gonna dig into the bucket. We don't have a tree, but we do have some other Christmas decor. So. If you want to see that, stick around to the end of the video. We'll do a little bit of redecorating in here. I think it'll be super fun. But let me show you really quick the items that we're going to be making over today. Um, if you watched my video last week, you saw some of these. So here's this little green retro Christmas tree. Um, my friend suggested spray painting it white and then doing like gold rim edges. So I think that's what we're going to try to do today. And then I have these little trees that we're going to try to do like a gold mercury glass type of look. If you guys haven't done it before, it's super easy, super simple. You just need some vinegar and some spray paint. I know that sounds weird. You'll see. <laughs> I'll show you. Um, we did this before when we got married. We did a bunch of like little gold um, thrifted centerpieces. And we did like kind of the mercury glass effect and actually my dad helped us do a bunch of them and that was so fun to spray paint like, I don't even know, I think we did like 20 little jars and things. Uh, so we'll do that. And then we have this little wood slice. I actually already did this, but I'm not gonna show you yet the other side. <laughs> I painted this a while ago. I was wanting some cute little stocking holders and we found these at the thrift store for a dollar fifty each today and they aren't a matching set and i'm also not really a fan of silver i don't know i just i prefer gold or copper so anyway we're gonna give these guys a little coat of spray paint oh i'm gonna put my coat on and let's go out into the garage and we will give these little guys a little makeover <laughs> Okay guys, so for this one, you are going to need 
some vinegar and some paper towels or like if you have a rag you don't care about we just happen to have paper towels and then whichever color of spray paint you want i'm gonna use gold um it's actually really cold out here i probably should not be spray painting because you're supposed to use it like you know when the temperature is like 70 degrees outside not like 40 but you know it's fine <laughs> so let me show you what you do so first i'm gonna take off this little bottom and i'm hoping this will work as well as it did last time okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little spritz bottle and you're gonna spritz inside of this okay so see how you see like the little water droplets that's what you want you want there to be water droplets um so now what we're gonna do is see if i can do this without spraying myself okay. so you're gonna want your paper towel ready this is actually a lot easier as a two-person job but it's just me right now and you're gonna take your spray and you're gonna do very careful light little coats inside somehow right to do now is just take this and then kind of dab it I don't think this is gonna work like I was hoping <laughs> it looks terrible um, I think it's because of the shape of this I don't know if it's gonna work like this I'm really unsure about this very, very unsure. It does look cool where it did work. I guess you don't have to dab it, it'll just dry. Can you see that? It does look cool where it worked. Maybe I shouldn't do the paper towel. Maybe I'll spray it again with the vinegar and then we'll go in and see if I can get it. guys so I ran out of that spray paint as you saw I'm back went to the hardware store I got gloves <laughs> as much as I hate wearing disposable gloves for eco reasons um, I also recognize that it's really important to protect my skin especially from things that have harmful ingredients like spray paint which really you just shouldn't be spray paint at all probably but anyway so I think I'll like this one better actually it's more of like a glossy metallic so we'll see how this goes
right guys, as you can see, we are Christmas out here. In past years, I feel like I was like, oh, let's wait till after Thanksgiving to decorate for Christmas. But this year, I just felt like decorating for Christmas was gonna bring me joy. So why not just do it whenever it is that I wanna do it. And this isn't like everything that we have. We probably aren't gonna get a tree this year. We're gonna be moving like a week before Christmas. So there's not really a point in getting a tree, but otherwise we'll decorate and I'm gonna add some pom-pom garlands. I think I'm gonna make some wood bead garlands. And I'm also working on a very fun project. I am making, should I even tell you guys? Okay, I'll tell you. I found out how to make bottle brush trees from scratch, you guys from scratch. I'm not talking about like, you know, like you see the Pinterest posts and they're like, oh, here's how to make your own bottle brush trees. And then you click on the post and they actually bought like a giant bag of pre-made bottle brush trees and then they bleached them and then they dyed them whatever colors they want. No, you guys, I'm literally making them from scratch. And it's, it's a process. My husband and I are like, Is, are we a factory now? Like, we're just like a factory making bottle brush trees, maybe. Why do I do this every Christmas, you guys? I really don't know why. Like in 2018, I was like an ornament making machine. My sister and I started an Etsy shop. Anyone remember that? <laughs> um, and that lasted for a couple months. And then I was like, you know what? This is really stressful. It was, it was fun. It was also really stressful. Um, but anyway, but this year it's bottle brush trees. I'm gonna have a rainbow. So I think that I might, once I like master the technique, I've only made three so far, but once I have it like mastered, then we'll probably, I'll probably upload that as a video to show you guys how to do it. So if you also wanna see like how I make my garlands, let me know. Um, Cause I can also make a short little video of that. Let me show you the things that we made, that I made, I guess. How they turned out, what like the process was in making these. It turned out a little different than I expected, but I'm still really happy with the results. So the first project I did um, that you saw was this super, super easy wood slice project. So I purchased this wood slice from a thrift store for like $1.50 or something. And if you try to find these at the craft store, they're like 10 or 20 bucks per slice, which is ridiculous in my opinion. So and you guys, if you are obsessed with Joanna Gaines and Fixer Upper, you know that Harp Design Co. sells one just like this. Like it literally is basically identical and I think it's like $35. I'll have to look. But anyway, here's this. I still need to write on it, but I love how it turned out. Next, I loved my friend's idea of painting the tree white and putting gold around it. And then I started painting it, spray painting it, and I ran out of white paint. But I actually am happy with it because I kind of sprayed from the top, from the top angle, and it kind of just looks like it's covered in snow. Isn't that so cute? So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this because first of all, I don't wanna buy more spray paint when we're about to move. And second of all, I kind of liked the green. I just didn't like all of the green, but I'm, I think it's so cute how it turned out. Um, so yes, very happy with this happy accident. Any Bob Ross fans out there? Anybody? Anybody? So here's my happy little tree. It was a happy little accident. I love it. Snow covered tree. And then these guys, can I just say, I don't recommend spray painting when it's 40 degrees. Um, neither does the spray paint can. So don't do it. And I think because it was so cold, um, nothing dried like nearly as fast as I thought it would but I do still really like how they turned out so I will show you a close-up of the trees I just put these little tea lights in them but I think I'm gonna get some fairy lights because I think that would be really cute if they could string all the way down but let me show you so if you can see there is a lot of like blank space um it's not like a mercury glass look at all, but I, I just like, I, I do like it though. I kind of just sprayed it in there. 
and kind of just let it drip down and this is what it did on its own. I feel like they do look almost like they could have been purposeful and like store-bought. I feel like they do look really pretty. So I used Rust-Oleum's Vintage Gold for these and just some plain old white vinegar. Um, anyway, okay, so I did these and then I decided I wanted those stocking holders, as you can see behind me, I wanted them to be gold and I started spraying them with vintage gold, the same color. I didn't really like it and then I ran out. <laughs> so then I was like, you know what, I need a couple other things from the hardware store anyway. I went to the hardware store for the second time in 24 hours <laughs> um, and I just got some regular, I think it's just like the Rust-Oleum metallic, just gold color. And I actually like that a lot better. So let me show you a more up close of these. I like that it looks a little bit more like actually, like actually gold instead of just like a spray paint on. So this was the one that had like the weird, like the red scarf. I don't know why a deer has a scarf, but anyway, I feel like it looks really good. Like it looks honestly like if I didn't know any better, I would think that it came like this. It turned out so good. I did the back also, and I feel like the back looks even more like authentically gold. But anyway, I love these. I even debated like making them, oops. I even debated making them copper um, just because we had copper spray paint. But I asked my husband, I'm glad I listened to him because he was like, no, I think gold would be better. So anyway, I really love how they turned out. So you guys, this was seriously like probably the easiest DIYs that I've done for one of these videos. Everything else is like super time consuming and all of these were super quick, super easy. All you need is a couple cans of spray paint, a few minutes, preferably a warmer area than my garage was. And yeah, I think they're so fun. So anyway, Stay tuned for future Christmas updates. It'll be fun. I also, um, my birthday is on Saturday. So I'm going to be doing a really fun like thrift with me slash like vlog, like come celebrate my birthday with me. And I'm also gonna be answering some of your guys' questions. Um, a bunch of you sent me questions on my DMs and Instagram. If you have any other questions, just like random, get to know you. I don't even know, I got some really random questions. But if you have any, you can put them in the comments below and I will answer them on next week's video. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you guys have an amazing week. And if it's already cold where you live, I hope that you stay warm and dry. And I will see you guys next Monday.